the first question is what inspired you to hold this position and what are your valuable experiences which you would like to share with the young leaders uh, nothing specific but environment is my passion so the position uh, comes uh, automatically i am holding this position as uh, official but uh, i have a passion for one for so maybe that is the only next question would like to ask if your student aspire to be like him and serve in the environment department then what skills and aspects should be imbibed in your in our system first of all you should be more uh, concerned about surroundings you should be studying very well right? and uh, look around good at be a keen uh, observer be a keen observer and uh, have concern for other fellow beings as well fellow beings means not only human beings but everything else everything else living and non non inclusive right consider yourself to be a you know, you know a space traveler traveling in space on the spaceship uh, so take care of mother sir what are your predictions for the most significant environmental challenges in the next decade and how is your department preparing for them obviously climate change is going to be the most significant part that way as far as my department is my department is concerned we would like to make the urban setups as well as maximum things around us to be climate resilient because things are changing because of the climate change uh, as well as patterns are changing so how do we reconcile with that should be the point next question what are the department key environmental priorities for the next five years uh maybe uh um, concern is to move towards less of a fossil fuel consumption that is one to have more of a renewable energy that is one concern um let waste less water because that's a very precious commodity and conserve soil i should say conserve soil in all its respects all its respect wherever it is So can you discuss any recent regulatory changes and their expected impact on environmental protection? Uh, regulatory changes are like recently. I mean, this I shouldn't say recently, but with Forest Conservation Act, uh, lot of lot of forests have been protected, and uh, earlier there used to be lot of conversion of forest lands into non-forest land. But after the enactment of the, the Forest Conservation Act in 1980, the conversion of forest into non-forest came drastically down, and uh, it was regulated at the highest level in Australia, which has certainly brought in uh, deforestation to the moon. Thank you so much, sir, for your patience. Thank you.